All right, so what's uh, happening today? You never know what's going to happen. So, I wanted to go back to a subject that uh, most of the videos have to do with, and that is playing with accuracy and power and timing. All right? Now, in a sense, this is also a commercial for what I do. Uh, I give, uh, we do a lot of banjo clinics. Uh, we're doing, uh, I think we may do, yeah, we're going to do seven this year. So that's a lot. And uh, we do these in Dahlonega, Georgia, which is about 70 miles north of Atlanta. So, uh, so I, I mentioned that, and you can go to Jeff Howald. Yeah, of course, you have to spell my name right, jeffhowald.com. So that's, that's the commercial part of it. But let's talk about um, how to uh, learn a lick, all right? So I, I'm teaching a lot of baby boomers. Now, these guys are successful people. They, uh, many cases, are retired. Uh, they may be engineered people. They're used to structure. In fact, uh, they really want structure. If they don't have structure and don't know what's going on, don't know what the plan is, they uh, get somewhat uh, uh, stressed out or they, they just need to know what's going to happen. So in normal business, you do your research, you uh, have a plan, you set goals, and you work towards those goals. All right? So they figure out what they're going to learn, how to practice, and then they set a performance goal of, hey, I'm going to play Fog Mount Breakdown at a certain speed in four months, all right? And as they get closer to the four months, if they're not progressing at the rate they think they should be, they become more stressed out. And of course, in order to play music, you have to have a total sense of almost euphoria, relaxation, all right? So the... Um, so what we do in the clinics is we show uh, people uh, how to do drills, how to relax, how to use a metronome, and the results are rather uh, extraordinary. We also have a uh, ratio of two students for one instructor. So this allows for a lot of uh, individual time, meaning I can sit, if we we're going to learn this lick, which we're going to today. Okay. I can sit one on one with somebody for 15 or 20 minutes. Now you play it. And I can watch your technique, make adjustments. I can go away for 30 minutes and you practice on your own. Come back, see how you're doing, make adjustments. Because when you go home, obviously you won't have a teacher there. So you're learning how to do this independently. All right, so now. Since I don't have a close-up on this, I will just do my close-ups just by moving closer to the, uh, to the, uh, this is actually an iPhone here, which is kind of amazing that iPhones can do this. Uh, I bought a camera about four or five years ago, spent about $5,000 on this camera, and the iPhone does a better job, which is kind of weird. Okay, so let's talk about how to learn a lick. And here's the lick we're going to learn. There's no tab, but it's, uh, you may want to write it down. So uh, we play the first string, then we do a hammer on. Okay, let's see if we can get that in the field here. We'll turn it a little bit. So, so we play the first string, then we do a hammer on. Okay. And, uh, then we do, okay, and then we do a roll. So it's first string, hammer on, first string again, and then five, two, one, five. Let's do that again. Three, four. Okay. All right, so how do we get that... Uh, to sound properly, okay? 
what we're gonna do in this video is I'll play it, then you play it, all right? So, here we go, so we go. But, we're just gonna start with the first three notes, which is three, four, three, four, three, four. You really get into three, four. So the first thing is to get the sound of the lick uh, in your in your mind, and I recommend that you consider using headphones. Now, in my case, I've got one of the headphones not on my ear and the other in my ear, and you can kind of adjust the volume by how much of the headphone is over your ear, okay? And this way, you'll get a nice, clear uh, sound, so... Okay, so let's try it again. So three, four. Now you do it. Three, four. Three, four. Now, during the process, if I was going to really learn this lick, I'd plan on spending three or four or five hours just on that over a period of maybe a month where I might do it for five minutes, ten minutes at a time, okay? Now... As you, there's no amount of yoga and relaxation that's going to cause you to totally relax in comparison with just playing it over and over. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to put the roll in. Okay, now I'll play it. I'll be, you play along with me. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Okay, so if you have an iPhone, you can take your iPhone uh, and record yourself doing that. And uh, I haven't done it exactly this way, but I guess you could put the uh, video on your computer and you could listen to it and then you could film yourself on your iPhone. So the iPhone, if it was on the whole time, would hear me playing it and then would hear you playing it. So that's kind of a Jed Clampett way to have almost a multi-track. And uh, while you're doing this, you would have your headphones on so that you can make sure you can hear everything when you hear it back. So uh, let's let's try that. So I'll play it, then you play it. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. All right, and then. Um, We'll go ahead and play it with the roll. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Really listen to that. Okay. And just practice that until you get the exact sound. I once spent about 10 hours when I was sick, when I was younger, listening to uh, Earl's Breakdown. Uh, let's see. It's not exactly it, but uh, after 10 hours of me having a tape recorder where I would play it off Foggy Mountain, banjo album and then um, uh, I would listen to it stop the recorder then I would play it and then I'd listen to the two of them then I'd practice it and I did that over and over for 10 hours and after 10 hours I was about 60 percent uh, sounding like Earl Scruggs so it's a um, it's a somewhat long process but once you learn one lick accurately uh, many times you're going to use that lick in other songs 
and uh, so you can use it a lot, and that transfers. Okay, so this is part one of the lick, uh, and I'm going to call it the... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to date it. I'm going to call it the 831 lick, okay? And I'm about to do a part two on that.